Well, I suppose um, with five children, it is a relatively big family in society now. And we do get a lot of a lot of friends who would say, oh, it must be very difficult or it's hard work and all that. But, but I always try to emphasise that the work is nothing compared to the treasure of each child. Like, and every, it always, <laughs> my friends always agree that every child is such a treasure, you know. So um, then I, you know, I, I talked to them about cheerfulness and and they working because without cheerfulness, the family life it would just be a disaster. And the chapter A on Saint Rosa Marie is in the way on cheerfulness. I often bring it to you know, the prayer to. You know, if I'm feeling kind of tired or the, at bedtime, you know, when it's the children's bedtime, <laughs> it's a difficult time, that I kind of, the points might come to my mind, you know, that kind of really me getting cross or, or angry with the children just because I'm tired isn't, you know, it's, it's not a good example to them and it's, it's not, um, you know, conducive to, to their formation. So, you know, I think the, the idea of working on cheerfulness and, of course, in a large family, there are so many um, moments that you just wouldn't, you, you couldn't exchange for any money. You know the, the funny things and you know the games. Or uh, in the summertime, we have a trampoline in the garden, and sometimes the whole family goes on it. And you know, <laughs> the bigger the family, I'm sure our neighbours, <laughs> I don't know what they think we're up to, but they they uh, laughing, you know, and all the, the different age groups, you know, and the big ones minding the little ones. And, you know, it, it, there's so many opportunities for, um, for you know, happy memories and a, a, even for the children to, you know, to learn about generosity and so on. And I think um, two of the, of the girls, the eldest is 10 and the next one is 9, they've commented that teachers in school have, have, have commented to them how much they love each other. You know, so... I hope, hopefully, that the, the the idea that the love generated within the family is um, something that maybe stands out. So, I think. In in medicine, in many of the things you see day to day are very much the same, and then some things are extraordinary, occasionally and, and serious, and um, very upsetting and and very demanding, um, and yet. So, so the temptation is when you come home, uh, after any hard work, that is, to uh, either, uh, there's a concept of a man sitting and, and withdrawing back into his cave and uh, wanting to read a paper or watch television or be very quiet. And yet at the same time, that particular moment is perhaps when your spouse and, and your children haven't seen you for several hours and they want to talk to you. And it's fortunate to be in that position. So the effort required there to give your children you know the full attention that you know that they deserve at that time um, you know again that image of St. Joseph is, is very good and of course to your spouse as well um, life is made up of many many you know everyday small things and a few big events um, but again even in, in terms of holiness and, and the path to heaven and in love of God it's the love of God in the small details you know like playing with the children or reading them a book uh, before bed or uh, you know, throwing, going out to the garden and throwing a bit of football with them or something, or, or looking at dolls, you know, if you have daughters, which you may not be particularly interested in, but to put that effort in, uh, that, 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 that's love. You know, as St. Jose Maria, he said one thing in particular, he, he, it came to him during, during prayer, was um, uh, as if he heard our Lord saying, you know, love is deeds, not sweet words. So we can, we can talk a lot, but it's actually doing things that really shows, uh, you know, the love. And again, that's, um, you know, a phrase and a prayer of his that, that comes to mind uh, very often, every day, every day, you know. Well, I think um, the idea that St. Jose Maria said about the, your spouse being the path to heaven and a, the children are the mother of the path to heaven and, and the father's path to heaven, and so when there are difficulties, you know, tiredness or illness or, as John was saying, t the tedium of every day, that you see that is your path to heaven. And then instead of being a kind of a boring, tedious, sort of same thing every day or they seem to be telling the children the same instruction for the 25,000th time, that, that that is actually part of your path to heaven. And you know, by teaching the child, you know, for the 50th time the same thing, 
that you're forming their soul that way and that eventually it will have the result. And also I think uh, what he always spoke about cheerfulness, you know, and t keeping the, the marriage young, you know, to look at each other the same way as you did when you were, when you were uh, dating. That, um, you know, so to, to not look on your spouse as the kind of um, just someone that you have to iron their shirt or, or someone else that's in the house, but that this is the person that God has known from all eternity that it has chosen to help you and you for him to get to heaven. And um, you know, to let the children know that, you know, that all of this and the family is all part of God's plan. You know, and God's plan is always the best, better than anything we can plan or anything we can imagine. One particular aspect, um, St. Jose Maria had a great love of, of St. Joseph uh, in particular, and he, 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 he often, you know, would, would picture Joseph not maybe as a traditional image of, a, of a maybe, you know, an, an older man, but a much a younger, strong, healthy, virile man, but yet with yet quite, quite a background figure, but yet worked very hard and was given an, an immensely important task of, of, you know, of being the foster father of our Lord. So, again, I mean, I could you know, take from that teaching and try to apply it to myself that I am to be the St. Joseph to my children and, again, to work away hard and silent and, and do, a, you know, hopefully a very, a very good, as good a job I can do of that. So that's one specific thing that's been very helpful for me.